Hello everyone, my name is Karolina. I'm doing a PhD in the field of polymer chemistry at the Ugent University. I'm working within the Trace and Trick project. Since my daily life consists of working with polymeric micelles, I thought this video would be a great chance to introduce you with the concept of polymeric micelles as delivery systems, talk about their formation and about their interesting features. During this short talk, I will convince you of important role of the carriers in the delivery of active entities, explain what polymeric micelles are and how are they formed, and then I will tell you what makes them so interesting. So let me start with highlighting the importance of the delivery systems. As you can imagine, drugs, especially anti-cancer drugs or radionuclides, are very toxic. Their aim is to kill infected cells to weaken the developing tumor. Unfortunately, they do not distinguish between healthy and infected cells. This makes the therapy very difficult. We need to find a way to deliver those drugs to the infected cells, the cancer cells and cancer cells only, without damaging healthy tissue on the way. It is already visible that we need some sort of delivery system, an appropriate carrier, which will carry the toxic compound where we ask it to. To design such a system, one needs to have in mind criteria. The delivery system, the carrier, should be associated with the drug and protected during the circulation in the bloodstream, have still properties and be biocompatible to, the, to evade fast clearance from the blood by the reticular endothelial system and avoid an immune response to both carrier and the drug. It should also facilitate the accumulation of the drug at the specific site of action and increase time in the target cell. I hope you see now how crucial it is to have a right system for efficient delivery of our cargo being either drug or radionuclide. Now that the role of carrier is already highlighted, let's have a closer look on polymeric micelles. So what are polymeric micelles? Polymeric micelles are formed from polymers of amphiphilic nature, which means they possess hydrophilic and hydrophobic blocks. At low temperatures and concentration, those polymers are dissolved in water as unimers. If the concentration of the, or the temperature or both increase, the formation of multimolecular spherical aggregates happen. Those are present as, as micelles. These micelles consist of hydrophobic core and hydrophilic corona. Micelles can only be formed about, uh, above the so-called critical micelle concentration. CMC and critical micelle temperature, CMT. Micelle formation is an endothermic process which implies that it's entropy driven. Most likely it is due to the changes in the hydrophilicity of the hydrophobic block. With increasing temperature the hydrophobic block becomes less hydrophilic and loses the water share around it. This results in the significant entropy increase which overcompensates the entropy decrease due to the polymer aggregation and micelle formation. Polymeric micelles can be prepared from diblock, triblock or graft polymers. Each of those copolymers have unique advantages for drug delivery. The hydrophilic shell gives stealth properties to the micelle, allowing them to avoid uptake by reticular endothelial system, which is crucial for achieving long circulation in the bloodstream. The hydrophobic core of the micelle encapsulates the poorly soluble drugs. So now that we can imagine what are micelles, let's see what makes them so interesting. Polymeric micelles have gained a lot of attention because of their biodegradability, small particle size, less than 100 nanometers, high loading capacity, and prolonged circulation and accumulation in the required pathological site in the body. They also uh, have high structural stability due to very small uh, critical micelle content concentration value, values. Polymeric micelles uh, easily escape from the leaky capillary beads and accumulate in the pathological tissue, having poor lymphatic uh, drainage 
This mechanism of tumor targeting is called passive targeting and is possible because of enhanced permeability and retention effect. Polymeric micelles can also be engineered for active targeting by coupling ligands or additional of pH-sensitive moieties. Various ligands, such as different sugars, transferrin, folate, mel residues, and peptides, have been attached to polymeric micelles for active targeting. All of above make polymeric micelles act as ideal drug carriers for targeting cancerous cells. Few polymeric micelles formulations have been successfully developed, and a few more are at preclinical -cl stage. This is a dire need, there is a dire need to translate these proven experimental advantages concepts into clinical practice to diminish the death rate from cancers and increase hope in cancer chemotherapy. Thank you.